In this video, we're covering 20 expert level MCQs for the Oracle Generative AI Professional Certification, each designed with real exam logic and clear explanations. For full length practice tests, visit certshero.com, your shortcut to certification success. Let's get started. To mitigate model instability during the initial phases of fine tuning, which hyperparameter should be configured? Is it total training tokens, learning rate warm up steps, or early stopping patients? The correct answer is B, learning rate warm up steps. This is because this parameter gradually increases the learning rate preventing large disruptive updates to model weights at the start. Question two. In a RAG architecture, what is the primary role of a vector database like OCI search with OpenSearch? Is it to store the full text of the source documents for keyword searching, to store and query the numerical vector embeddings of document chunks, or to host the fine-tuned LLM endpoint for generation? The correct answer is B to store and query the numerical vector embeddings of document chunks. Vector databases are specialized for efficient similarity searches on high dimensional vector data, which is the core of RAG's retrieval step. Question three, which OCI networking component is essential to allow a compute instance in a private subnet to call the generative AI API without public internet exposure? Is it an internet gateway, a service gateway, or a NAT gateway? The correct answer is B, a service gateway. A service gateway provides a private path for VCN resources to access OCI services like generative AI within the Oracle network. Question four, in the OCI Gen AI API, how does setting top P equal to 0.9 differ from top K equal to 10? Is it because top P selects a fixed number of tokens while top K selects a variable number? top P considers a dynamic set of tokens whose cumulative probability is 0.9, or top K is used for summarization, while top P is used for generation? The correct answer is B. Top P considers a dynamic set of tokens whose cumulative probability is 0.9. This method, known as nucleus sampling, creates a variable size set of the most probable tokens whereas top K always picks from a fixed size set. Question five, what is the key performance advantage of a dedicated AI cluster over a serverless endpoint for a high traffic application? Is it automatic scaling to zero to save costs, elimination of cold start latency, or access to more foundational models? The correct answer is B, elimination of cold start latency. Dedicated clusters have always-on resources, which prevents the startup delay or cold start seen with serverless endpoints on the first request. Question six. A fine-tuning job fails with an error related to catastrophic forgetting. What does this imply about the training process? Is it the learning rate was too low and the model didn't learn the new data? The model learned the new data but lost its original capabilities. Or, the training data set contained too much personally identifiable information. The correct answer is B. The model learned the new data but lost its original capabilities. Catastrophic forgetting is when a model, after being fine-tuned on a new task, loses its performance on the original tasks it was trained on. Question seven. Which OCI service is designed to orchestrate a multi-step ML workflow, including data prep, model fine-tuning, and evaluation? Is it OCI functions, OCI data flow, or OCI data science pipelines? The correct answer is C, OCI data science pipelines. Data science pipelines are purpose-built for defining, orchestrating, and automating end-to-end -end machine learning workflows. Question eight. When using the OCI Python SDK from a compute instance, which signer object is used for authentication via instance principal? Is it instance principal security token signer, config file signer, or resource principal signer? The correct answer is A, instance principal security token signer. 
This specific signer class allows the SDK to automatically use the identity of the OCI compute instance it is running on. Question 9. Which prompt engineering technique is best suited for complex reasoning tasks by asking the model to explain its process? Is it zero-shot prompting, few-shot prompting, or chain-of-thought prompting? The correct answer is C, chain-of-thought prompting. Co-T explicitly asks the model to think step-by-step, step, which improves its reasoning for complex problems. Question 10. What is the most direct way to increase the concurrent request capacity of a dedicated AI cluster? Is it to increase the max output tokens parameter in API calls, change the cluster's VM shape to one with more vCPUs, or increase the unit count of the cluster? The correct answer is C. Increase the unit count of the cluster. The unit count directly maps to the number of model replicas and determines the cluster's capacity for parallel requests. Question 11. For semantic search across documents in English, Spanish, and French, which model type is most appropriate? Is it Cohere Command, Cohere Embed English V 3.0, or Cohere Embed Multilingual V 3.0? The correct answer is C. Cohere.embed Multilingual V 3.0. Multilingual embedding models are specifically trained to map text from different languages into a shared semantic space. Question 12. After fine-tuning, where are your custom models stored and managed as versioned artifacts within OCI? Are they in a service-managed object storage bucket, in the OCI model catalog of your compartment, or in OCI container registry? The correct answer is B in the OCI model catalog of your compartment. The model catalog acts as a central, governed repository for all machine learning models, including fine-tuned Gen AI models. Question 13. What is OCI's data privacy commitment regarding prompts sent to pre-trained base model endpoints? Are prompts used to improve the base models for all customers, stored for 30 days for troubleshooting purposes, or never used to train or improve the base models? The correct answer is C. Prompts are never used to train or improve the base models. Oracle guarantees that customer data is logically isolated and not used to train models for other customers. Question 14. In an OCI generative AI API call, what does a frequency penalty greater than zero achieve? Does it encourage the model to use a wider vocabulary? discourage the model from repeating the same tokens or words, or make the model's output more factual? The correct answer is B. It discourages the model from repeating the same tokens or words. It applies a penalty to tokens based on how often they have already appeared in the output, reducing repetition. Question 15. What is the primary billing metric for an OCI generative AI fine-tuning job? Is it the number of tokens in the training data set, the number of hours the fine-tuning job is active, or the number of epochs specified for training? The correct answer is B, the number of hours the fine-tuning job is active. OCI charges for the compute resources used during the fine-tuning process, measured in hours. That's it for today's session on Oracle Generative AI Certification. If these MCQs helped, imagine what a full mock test can do. Visit certshero.com for complete practice exams, expert explanations, and more. Good luck, and we'll see you in the next video.